So back up to the start for another heat of the club for Truth and Skulls, the Prince of Wales Challenge Cup. And we have on the left of your picture the crew from Durham University. And they are up against the crew, the composite crew from Newcastle University Boat Club and Edinburgh University Boat Club. We'll talk a little bit about them as they go down the course. But you're watching them off the start and it's a fantastic start, isn't it? Wow. Very clean blade work. Yeah, By two, both crews. Two boys from Newcastle University, Dom Jackson and uh, James Stevenson, in the stern of that boat. And then you go down, you've got Leander's Seb Matthews in the two seat. And then uh, up in the bows, it's uh, Flockhart from Edinburgh University. And. Um, they're rowing here as Newcastle and Edinburgh University. I suspect this is kind of a lightweight uh, quadruple skull that has been put together. And they're up against the guys from Durham University Boat Club. You can see them there on the right of your picture in their distinctive Latin. Coached by Laura Richardson, the 24-year-old. And it's great, really, to see women coaching in uh, the sport of rowing. I was talking to the Durham uh, director of rowing, Whitehall Craggs, and he's so pleased that Laura Richardson is, is in his programme. The former physiotherapist decided to apply her trade as a coach, and she's doing a great job with Matt Rowe, Dan Middleton, Ed Gardner, and stroke man Montague Norman. I don't see many women applying their trade in the world of rowing, but at the moment it looks like the composite on the left of your picture, Newcastle University Boat Club and Edinburgh University Boat Club have a slight lead. But no one's comfortable. No one's comfortable. This is the racing we love, isn't it? And uh, I mean, how comfortable are Reading just sitting down in there? They kind of look in their, sorry, Durham, they kind of look in their rhythm, Durham. You know, they're sort of sculling nicely, not too upset. Nice, aggressive style from the crew on the left, you know, Newcastle University and Edinburgh University Boat Club, with the Leander boy in the middle, and uh, they've got about a length lead as they come up. Halfway mark. The quad is such a technical boat, because you have just as many oars, but half the distance in an eight. And you can see there's no splashing at all. Very nice catches. You almost have champagne bubbles in those puddles. They're so delicate. Yet, they're applying and applying on the end of the oar, and they have, have open water now on a boat that's 20 pounds heavier. Yeah, they've got a nice sweep, actually, yeah. those, those lads from Newcastle and Edinburgh. And uh, we can see them just going past the Upper Thames and Remenham rowing clubs there. It's the Remenham uh, enclosure, which is one of the social clubs up here formed by members of Clubs like Multi Boat Club, Twickenham and Kingston. And uh, 3.19, the time of the Edinburgh Composite crew through to the halfway mark at Forley. We can see the times the timekeepers put up there as they go through. And to give you some idea of the conditions here, the record for this event is 3.06, so it's about 13 seconds slower than the record. We're just looking there, Sean, I think that's uh, Don, well, I know it's Don Jackson in the stroke seat, the Newcastle athlete. I think he was the lad from Hampton School, who was in there eight a few seasons ago, broke the world lightweight junior record for 5K. Remember him doing that, fantastic effort, and uh, went to our multi-boat club represented uh, GB as well with distinction and uh, now at Newcastle University with James Stevenson fellow lightweight in the three seat you can see the blue tops from Newcastle University the Leander athlete Seb Matthews in the two seat and uh, the man from Edinburgh Flockhart in the bow seat what you're seeing is a very fine demonstration of sculling Every single angle here is perfect. Yeah, what Sean's talking about is the angles. That's uh, the way the blades go in and uh, they come out. So really the coaches try and synchronize to make sure the angles are the same. 
you don't get any athletes underreaching or overreaching at the front end and you just really let the blades come out without trying to pull them far too far through at the finish or um, to, let them come out too early efficiency is the way to move a quad and they've been very efficient they've been pulling out two or three inches every stroke no big moves just gradually moving away from Durham so just a few strokes left as they pass the progress board. It's the composite crew from Newcastle University Boat Club and Emory University Boat Club come up to the finish line. In the end, it was a comfortable victory for them. They did their work in the first half of the course against the students from Durham University Boat Club in the heat of the Prince of Wales Challenge Cup. There's confirmation of the result.